So I'm waiting for Kerrigan's boots to dry. I used three different colors of paints uh, for the top coat. Well, yeah. Okay, let's start that from again. Okay, so I used a Mod Podge as the base. And as you know, I did do my own customizations. I was cutting up the boot and then adding grooves and details. So you could kind of see there, a little bit there and such. Um, didn't go too crazy with it because I don't want it to look too weird. Uh, I might add more later, I'm not sure. I used two different brushes. I used a regular paintbrush, which is really stupid. I wish I had a bigger one. And then I had this super huge one, which I had to use for the top coat. Now the base coat was actually the Mod Podge. And then I mixed together the black. The black needs to be closed, actually. Black's almost all gone, too. Mainly all on my hands. And then the dark maroon color. This color is actually called... What is this called? I don't know. It's called acrylic paint. Good job. Okay, Americana. It's called True Burgundy. What the hell? Why can't we see that? I don't know. It's called... There we go. True Burgundy. Good job. Uh, I'll focus this on. Okay, True Burgundy. And then, of course, this one is just the black ebony. So, lamp black? I don't know. Lamp is black? I don't know. So, I mixed those together. Mainly, all of this, like, three drops of this and then one drop of this if you want to try to get technical with it. So, then, when I had to make this color, which is the top color for my shoes. Okay. For the shoes, as you can kind of tell. Ugh. I don't know if I want to keep the toe tip like that. I might. Here. Yeah, let's just cover that a little bit. And you can see it covering really nicely. I don't want it to look too weird. But I want it to peek out just a little bit. Let's cover that. There you go. So you can guys see what I'm doing. It's so much better. Especially while I'm in the dark. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, I used that little brush. It's really great for the little crannies that I made. This is really useful for going over these grooves at the top. Now, if you do it once, you get just the top part. But if you do it twice, then you get the inside groovy part. It's not that good. So I had to mix lots of the green, which this is just regular green. Um, let's see. Does it have a name? I don't think this has a name. Nope, it's just Craft Essentials Acrylic Paint. And, oh, it does have a name. It's called, here, let's see. This one is called Christmas Green. Look at that. So Christmas Green mixed with the, the True Burgundy. And no, actually, I didn't use any of the True Burgundy on this one. I take that back. So I used this one, which is the Georgia Clay and then, by Americana. And then Americana Black here. I used all three of these to make this shade here and it looks kind of like dirty water and I mean if we look at the boot you can tell the difference and I wanted it to look streaky because it looks different so now I just got to go wash off my paint brushes and then I got to wait for that to seal both of those shoes are done until I seal it with Mod Podge which is so fun it's like watching paint dry Actually, right now you're watching Paint Dry. Okay. Thanks, guys, for watching my video. Thank you for watching my video. Make sure to like, comment. What? Tell me what you think of my painting process. I'm not really good at painting, but this costume is going to be a little bit more sloppy painting, in my opinion. I've seen a lot of people do a more precise painting. I feel like that's not that good. Ugh, I'm tired. It's... So close to BlizzCon. I can't wait to go in costume. If any of you guys are going to BlizzCon, let me know in a comment down below. Why? Because I want to interact with you guys. Just let me talk to you. All right. It is too late. What time is it? I don't know. I'm using my phone right now. It's like 2.30 in the morning. And I've tried taking this video like five times. And I accidentally kept hitting like, the button to stop. I don't have time for editing. <laughs> Who does? Okay, bye.